Welcome back. We're here to look ahead to Monday night's Premier League game between Everton and West Brom. Might as well start with Everton in their last league game. They had a visit from Inform Man City and got a point. Really good point for Everton. They'd lost their last four going into that game. Not many people tipped them to get anything from that match because City themselves were in really good form. They had drawn level with Chelsea at the top of the table, level on points, goal difference and all that. And could have kept the pressure on Chelsea with a win. You'd have backed them to get the result there. But Everton, they dug in, they put in a really good performance. And even though they went behind to a scrappy goal, Coleman probably should have cleared it off the line. They bounced back and they show good character. You know, Martinez has been going on about character all through this losing run, this poor run of form. Probably a bit too much for the fans like him. But they show good character on that occasion to get back against the champions and get a really good point. It is now only one point in the last 15 in the league, which isn't good enough. They're only three points above the relegation zone. So they do need to improve on that if they're to avoid getting dragged into what would have been a surprise relegation battle for them. But the signs are good from that game because they performed much better. Yeah, and they also played quite well in midweek in the FA Cup replay against West Ham, but it was a defeat on penalties in the end. It was an absolutely brilliant cup tie at uh, Upton Park. But I think most fans, you know, they would have seen McGeady get sent off and thought, you know, this is another defeat for us. But especially when Enna Valencia put West Ham ahead as well, but they fought back Morales with a great free kick. I think Adrian could have done a bit better, but it was a great hit. And then in extra time, obviously, Lukaku then put them ahead, even though they were down to 10 men. But they couldn't hold on in the end, and it had to go to penalties. And, you know, it could have gone either way in penalties, obviously. But, you know, it is another defeat. And I think the FA Cup, it would have been quite nice to get a good run in the Cup because, you know, their league position isn't very good. It doesn't look like they'll be able to finish in a European place. So the FA Cup could have brought a bit of respite, but they're now out of that. So, and obviously out of the League Cup as well. So I think the Europa League is their only real hope now. They've been brilliant in Europe so far this season. And I think you obviously, if you win the Europa League, you get a Champions League place as well. So I think they might be willing to put all their eggs in one basket and just focus completely on the Europa League. Yeah, and we expected Lukaku to be key in all those competitions, didn't we? And he's, it's only recently he started really to show his form. He was superb for them on loan last season, joined for £28 million. Perhaps the price tag was weighing a bit heavy, heavy on him, but... Obviously, the team isn't playing too well behind him, but he was going into the wide areas a bit too often, wasn't really getting into the box, getting into the middle, and they weren't putting crosses into him either. So it was a poor, poor first half of the season for him, but he's improved in the last few games. He's really good against City and terrorised the defence at times. And if he carries on that improvement, that'll go a long way to help Everton carry on their improvement, perhaps climb the table, as I think the European places are beyond them now, but in Europe as well, in the Europa League, that could help them there as well. Obviously, West Brom, they know Lukaku well. Obviously, he was there on loan from Chelsea a couple of seasons back, but I think West Brom, they've come into this game pretty confident. Obviously, Tony Pulis, he had his first league game at home to Hull, one of their relegation rivals, and they got a win. You know, it wasn't the best game there. Both teams had a couple of chances, but I think West Brom did edge it, and they got the goal from a sort of unlikely source in the end. It was an indirect free kick that Berahino sort of slammed home, and obviously, if Pulis can get Berahino playing better, that's one of the keys to them being able to stay up this season, because at the start of the season, he was really good, wasn't he? You know, um, but this, he's gone off the ball recently, and if Pulis can get him playing again well, that'd be a huge you know boost to their chances of staying up. Really, he certainly made a good start at Barrow. Who knows? Only five goals in his two games in charge, four against. Obviously, it was only Gateshead in the FA Cup, but still, four goals for a striker is good in any match. And it's two wins from two from Pulis now. He's got a reputation for coming in and saving clubs. He's already said this is going to be a pretty tough task, perhaps up there with as tough as Palace was, because more expectation on him this time and he's already off the pitch he's already lost Paul Jewell a week after coming in he's brought Joey Francis in so that was that didn't go too smoothly as smoothly as you might expect but he's the type of man who can really like Berahino came out after the match and at the weekend and said that he's focusing on the defensive solidity and that is just classic Pulis and that he, sh- he sharpens teams up and he needs to do that especially away from home he's he's an expert at getting results away from home I think they've only won two, two all seasons by West, West Brom which I've been before this so if he can help them do that, then that will certainly help them survive. And I think they will with Pulis in charge. Definitely. So it's actually quite a big game in the bottom half. What's your score prediction? Everton, they've improved recently, but they're still a bit hit and miss. Pulis, the fact that I think he might be able to get something from this game. I'm going to go for a one or draw, I think. One or draw. I think Everton, just in their last two games, even though they haven't won them, they have certainly improved their performance. And I think they're going to get back to winning ways. I'm going to go for a 2-1 Everton win. So got one draw and an Everton win. Thanks for watching.